Hey guys, for you, let you know that if you like overclocking stuff and if you're looking for a good Android 3.0 Honeycomb tablet to overclock, perhaps you should go ahead and take a look at the Asus ePad Transformer. Because basically, people have been able to overclock this to insane 1.4 gigahertz. And it's a, I think it's a dual core tablet. Don't think though, don't know though, but. Uh, yeah, so basically the cool thing is that if you can overclock it from 1.4 gigahertz from 1 gigahertz in uh, you know what you get when you buy it, that's kind of sick. So if you want to go ahead and do this, you should use a program from XD developer. It's Netformer 1.2. That is the version it could hack this transformer tablet and overclock it. And uh, basically, if you're wondering how sick uh, specs you can get with this, in you know when you are trying to benchmark to see how better you know the improvements are when you overclocked it, it seems like the score people get it in this. Quadrant benchmarking program that you usually use when you are benchmarking tablets. Uh, it seems to be almost 5,000 points. And that's kind of sick because that is like doubled from, from what you get from the stock uh, release of this tablet. So that is kind of sick. And I know I say sick a lot, but that is that is kind of good. So one very good thing if you like to overclock tablets. I'm not sure if you can overclock iOS tablets, but uh, at least you can overclock Android tablets and you you know, obviously that's something cool. So, very good your Asus ePad with your little tablet. One thing that you should note though is, first of all, you could get really good speeds when, you know, HD and everything could play much better when you're overclocked. But you should remember that this is going to make your tablet less stable and that's not good. You know, sometimes if you have some bugs and if you're overclocked it, you shouldn't really complain on Asus because it's, it's your fault, you're single. No, sorry. But, um, yeah, see.